Welcome back to the Fairfax County Public Library. We've really missed you. Starting on July 13th, the library branches will be offering express services, Monday and Tuesday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. When you visit during our first week of service, when you come into the lobby, you'll find a greeter. The greeter will be available to provide you with disposable face masks. They'll be keeping track of capacity for our facilities, and they'll also point out for you some of our um, restrictions in place and some items for you to be aware of. We ask that you don't visit the library if you have recently experienced COVID-19, are ill, have a fever or cough, and that when you do come into the library, you be aware of some of the limitations we have in place. We ask that you limit your visit to 30 minutes or less, and you can pick up holds, browse the shelves, use a computer, chat with your favorite library staff members, but please don't expect that we'll have in-person programming, use of meeting rooms, or a few other items. If you're uncomfortable coming into the library or you just don't have the time, we will continue our very popular curbside services, which are available Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. When you come to a public service desk, you'll notice a couple of key differences. The first is that we now have plexiglass shields in place at all of our desks. The second is that staff, like Ms. Shahana's over here, will be wearing their face masks, the same that we encourage all the members of the public to do. When you come to a desk, please don't try and lean around the plexiglass or reach over the plexiglass. There's a space directly underneath where you can slide books and other items. When you're interacting with staff as well, you'll notice that there are some of our circulation procedures have come back into place. Items will be due again starting in August. Fines will be assessed and holds will expire. So please be sure to either check with your friendly staff member or check your online account. When you're queued up to see folks at the desk, there are stickers on the floor for socially distant lines. So be sure to stay six feet apart from all the other people that are waiting and then step up to the desk when it's your turn. When you come back to our libraries, you'll notice that there are some differences in place. One of those is that the meeting rooms are unavailable. The meeting rooms are being used for a variety of purposes right now. The first is they're being used to house quarantine materials like those you see behind me. When you bring back your library items, say on a Tuesday, those items are placed on a table or cart for 72 hours per federal guidance. And then we will check those items in on say a Friday. We ask that you don't bring in donated materials at this time either, as we work through the backlog of all of the returned items. We know you have lots of things you wanna bring in that you've cleaned out from your attics and your basements, but please hold on to them at this time. You may also notice that some of the furniture is missing from our public spaces. That's on purpose. They have been removed to support social distancing and they've been placed in our meeting room and quiet study spaces. And we know that you've missed some of our in-person programming like story times and adult book clubs. And don't worry, we continue to offer those virtually, but they're not available in person at this time. When you visit our library branches, you may wanna use one of our public PCs. You will notice that every other PC will be turned off with keyboard, mouse, and chair removed and a sign on the front indicating that it is out of service to support social distancing. Those computers that are still available are available for 30 minutes, the same time block that you can visit a library branch for per day. You can also continue to use copy and printing service as well as our self-check machines. You may have questions about what the library's cleaning protocols are now that we're reopened to the public for limited services. We're happy to share that we have enhanced cleaning protocols with multiple cleanings at each facility each day, including high touch point areas such as bathrooms, lobbies, elevators, and front desks. 